hello guys you are welcome back to my channel i want to say thank you for subscribing to this channel thank you for your like thank you very much if you are a new subscriber i say you are welcome please subscribe to this channel and if you are one of my old subscriber i say welcome back once again god bless you so today i want to show you how to cut an overlap overlap could be on gown it could be on um um blouse so i have my basic bodies already i have drafted my neckline i make use of three inches for my neck width and three inches for my neck depth and this is my shoulder slope one inch from my starting line this is my arm o curve i have made that so we'll be proceeding to creating the other body circumference so on this arm o line now i have created my um bust divided by four which is 8.5 i'll move to my under bus the under bus i'm working with is 28 so i will mark 28 divided by four then i'll move to my waist the same waist is 28 so i will mark 28 divided by four which is seven inches the next thing for me to do is to add my stitching allowance so for this i'll be adding two inches why am I adding two inches? When you are cutting an overlap, there is a way you want to twist your overlap. And then for this video, I would like to turn in the clothes I'll be needing, like quarter of an inch to turn it in, and then other things that I'll be needing to that two inches for. In case I want to input that on the waist, that is why I'm adding that much. But I have not decided if I'm going to add that. But in case you're not adding that, you can just add one inch stitching allowance so on my bust area i'm going to add 1.5 inch so now i'm going to blend it with my ammo curve then we are good to go so the next thing for us to do is to connect our points so you connect your under bust straight to the hand pull length and then you connect your waist to your under bust just as simple as that so after you might have done this you can now decide to create your overlap. So your overlap could be from your um, neckline to your um, to your underbust or to your waist. So let us cut this piece out. Then we'll go straight to our overlap. You will notice that I have not cut my neckline. Fine. I try not to cut it because you are going to be needing this lace. So the next thing you are going to do is to open up your fold. That is the more reason why I cut this on fold. So that I'll be able to show you what I mean. Now this is our center line here. Okay. So on this our center line now. <clears throat> We are going to create our overlap. The first thing you need to do when you are cutting your overlap is to determine how deep you want your overlap to go. This is the basic neckline. Now, this is our nape. You will now determine how deep you want it to be. So, you can start from this nape area and mark the depth of your neckline. So, for this video, I want my neck uh, overlap to be as wide as above my cleavage so i'll be going down by six inches that's why you need a straight line above by six inches okay so what i will be doing is that these six inches that i came down with i'm going to connect it to my shoulder line here or from here to this place depending on the side that you are you want to choose so you could choose any of the sides okay so i'm going to be choosing this right side of mine i'm going to be connecting from here this shoulder area down to this neck area and then i'm going to connect it to my waist because i want the um the overlap to reach my waist so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a curve like this Use my curve ruler like this. Okay. So, 
I'm going to connect from this shoulder area to this um, six inches that I came down with. So from there, I'm going to connect. So when you want to connect to your waist, you need to leave allowance for your joining because you are going to be joining the down part either to um, to a gown or to like a flare for the blouse. So you are going to be going up by one inch. One inch. Then you connect these six inches to that one inch. Okay. So you can use your same curve ruler that you have been using or you could connect it straight up but i prefer to always use my curve ruler so i'm going to go like this okay so i'm going to go like this and create my curve so this is my overlap so i'll just blend this neck area so that it won't be so now. now i have my overlap now after doing this it is now very clear that this place is going to be a waste why this other side is what we are going to be using as our overlap cutting so let me show you what i mean by that i'm going to be cutting from here so we'll cut from here did you see why I asked you to add 2 inches allowance here? Did you see? While creating your overlap, there is a way you can lose allowances. Look at it on this um, on the bust area. Look at how it cut it off. But if you had excess, you are going to get your allowance back. So, that is why it is important to always cut your overlap on a paper before you transfer it to your clothes so that you don't waste your clothes so this is what we have now we don't need this now this particular one is what we are going to be needing so we we'll place it on another fabric so this is a pattern paper i'm going to be taking another pattern paper so this is another pattern paper what you just do is to cut the exact same, okay? So just place it on your pattern paper, like this. Now, by that time, if you are cutting on the fabric, you need to determine and know your right side and wrong side. So let's say this is our wrong side. So this is our right side of the fabric. We are going to place it on the right side of the remaining cloth. So right side facing right side. Then you place it on it make sure that no area is going wrong so this is it so all i'm going to do is that i am going to cut the same piece out i'm going to cut this exact same piece out so so our overlap is ready so all you have to do is to notch the center this center line notch it okay so place it on this other fabric like this place it on it like this locate the midpoint on the other fabric too and then notch it not the center too not the center too why are you doing this because by the time you finish turning it if you are using lining you will need to locate the center so that your overlap will rest directly on your neckline and it will give it will be on the exact neckline that you have marked so if i cross check this starting line if i cross check this starting line from here now i'm going to have seven inches which is still okay by the time i join it on the shoulder with half an inch and turn it in i'm going to be on my exact 6.5 okay so this is how to cut overlap for your front bodies you could join this to a skirt part 
to have a gown and you can also create a, a peplum and join it to the waist for a blouse you can put gathers you can put splits in so i hope this video is helpful to you please if this video is helpful give me a thumbs up and i am going to see you in my next video bye bye